Hi, in this video we will see what are the steps required in data extraction for semi-structured document. So let's get started. Okay, so these are the main steps. Okay, first one is uh, creating a layout in Flexi Layout Studio. Okay, and then we have to save that particular layout in AFL format to some uh, local folder. Then we have to open a project setup station and uh, there we have to create a new project and there we have to upload a sample image along with AFL file which we have created inside a studio. Okay. Then we have to uh, save and validate document definition in a project setup station. After that we have to update that particular project to the server. Okay. And for hot folder setup uh, we have to do inside a project setup station we have to enable those settings and uh, uh, we need to enable hot folder uh, setup for that particular project in uh, admin and monitoring console as well and post that we can push the document and test the result okay we'll see these things okay so i'm inside a vm okay so i have opened uh, flexi layout studio so here i have uh, uploaded some uh, sample images for training a layout so inside this one we have to create header and footer then uh, other elements okay for field mapping which we want to extract along with uh, this table line item okay so once this is done we can export this one to the afl file okay so after that uh, we have to open up project setup station i will close this one and we minimize this one and we'll open project setup station okay okay i will open this project in a server I'll click on OK. So here what you have to do, you have just click on this project, click on document definition and I have already created this definition. So what I will do, I will create a new project and here you can select this semi structure or an structure document. Then click on next. and uh, just browse for image so i will select this image and i will load some layout okay that is inside users show if files use this one okay then i uh, will click on next and here we have to enter our document definition name i will write as a test then click on finish okay so this will open our document definition item it's taking more time okay so you can see it has opened this document definition editor here we have to save this definition Okay, and if you want to test this one, we can test it from here. Okay, let me just click on run test. And here we can see that extracted result. Okay, I will click on cancel. And I will just close this one as well. So, I will not publish this one, okay, I will just uh, click on close, 
close this one as well and if you want to do a hot folder setting so for that just click on this project then click on image import profile and then click on add it or not add it you have to click on new and here you have to give a path okay well let us select so some path inside this machine okay just uh, select uh, this picture path let's see and we'll click on next and here we need to define this uh for hot folder settings so, so it will check for every 20 second or 30 second for uh, that particular image and then uh, we have to specify these things and if you want to uh, define uh, if you want to do some additional setting we can do it from here click on next and then after that uh, where we want to move those imported files okay, so it will create this folder or if it is not matching then we have to uh, it, it has to move to the exception folder okay and we have to give a profile name okay I will click on cancel okay okay one more thing okay I will open this document definition so I will delete this one first discard changes and if you want to upload this uh, project to the server what we can do we have two options either we can just uh, click on this one upload project to the server or from here we can upload it to the server upload project to the server so these are the two ways so once you will upload it it will be visible in a uh, admin and monitoring console okay so inside project it will be visible so from here also you have to enable this hot folder setting okay and how you can open this admin monitoring console uh, you just search for admin here so you have this particular option admin monitoring console so once this is done you can test your uh, batch okay so we'll see those steps again okay uh, we'll, we have to create a layout then we have to export as an AFL then we have to create a new project inside the uh, project setup station then we have to upload sample images and layout in project setup station we have to save it then upload to the server and for creating hot folder setup uh, we have to follow some steps then enabling hot folders option in admin modeling console then we have to push document to the hot folder and after that we have to check the results so that's all for this video thank you for watching